Hank, you got a story about Lake Hopatcong, which some may call Lake Hopatconda. What do you got? I see what you did there, Bill Spade. You like that? <laughs> Tony Colantonio's summer on Lake Hopatcong has been weird so far. Key reason? 15-foot snake in the lake. The lake straight, it was straight, straight across. So, so, okay. Right where the boat is, but for, for a little bit further back, though. All right. And I just got out of the water. I just took off like a bandit. Bill, others claim to have seen the snake, too, so reptile specialist Jerry Andrejuk was called in. Uh, on the dock, he told me of seeing the snake when Jerry was on a kayak recon mission. Its head was, you know, it was flat, but, I mean, you can kind of see that thing was probably as big as my hand. Yeah, and if the head's as big as your hand, it tells you about all you can get. 14, 16 foot. Uh, now, summertime Lake Hopatcong, it's rowdy. It's like uh, the, the Yacht Club sequence in Caddyshack. And that burned Jerry since he says it's that kind of static that keeps the snake in hiding. He crawled up into a pipe where some say the snake's been resting in search of snakeskin. He's got walls, man. He's trying to find a piece of shedded, shedded snake skin sure. that he had seen up there before. It seems incredibly, perfectly understandable. Yes. Jerry, what does a snake skin do for your client? It may be enough to get fish game and wildlife to come out here and put out the money for cameras and manpower. They've been trying to avoid that? Yeah. Meanwhile, it's getting dark. Jerry said all along if he saw the snake, he was going straight in the water after him. First you're going to grab a hold of him, he's going to come back, he's going to at least bite you, and then start wrapping. You have to control that wrap and get to a place where then you're in control. They'll bite you, and they're not venomous, but they'll no. bite, right? Or no, not? Absolutely. I don't know. Yeah, they, Do they, they have teeth? Yes. Okay. Very long, sharp teeth. Look, we stayed there until after 10. I won't lie. If Jerry was going to jump into Lake Hopatcong after a 15-foot anaconda, I did not want to miss that. But it was not to be. He seems to have quieted down a little bit. A lot there. Uh, and the snake specialist says he'll be back next weekend. After all, he's got a day gig with Common Sense for Animals. He's a working stiff just like the rest of them. What do you mean, like, control the constriction? How, what does that mean? Well, he's going to grab the head? He's, what's he going to do? Well, anacondas, pythons, boa constrictors all yeah. belong to constrictor family, according to Jerry. Uh, and what they do is they wrap themselves around a deer or, or a rabbit or whatever it is and, and squeeze until it suffocates, and then they eat it. That's how they kill their prey. How does he fight against that if That's he jumps in the water with the snake? That's what I really wanted to see, man. I didn't want any part of it. I would have tried to help him maybe. I would have definitely videotaped Did you? <laughs> I'm sure of that. Did, did you ask him, how does a 15 or 16-foot anaconda get in Lake Hopatcong in the first place? People, hobbyists who love reptiles, will purchase a boa constrictor, an anaconda, a python, and then somehow they get too big. It happens in New York City all the time. They let them loose. Next thing you know, you got a 15-foot snake in the lake.